Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to apply attention mechanism in deep neural networks. So before that I will just explain what is attention. So attention mechanism is nothing but it is used to accurately differentiate the importance of different regions in the image features so that the model focuses on the area that influence the classification result and weaken the attention to the outside area. So it is giving more importance to the particular or specific area inside the feature map. Here, here you can see the uh, attention mechanism. They used two attention mechanism that is spatial attention and channel attention. So all the all these two attention uh, only applied on the feature maps. That means convo file. So now I will move to the program. So this is the simple CNN model with the attention. I used the MNIST data set for the classification purpose. So I will just run the program. Let me see uh, how the results are coming. So first I we have to load the library files. Uh, now I ran the program. Uh, now it started to run. Uh, and meanwhile I will explain what I have done for uh, applying the attention in the CNN models. So these are the training and testing images. These are the train labels and test labels. Then initially I took some of the convolution layers like 32, 64, something like that. After I flattened the layer that one, then I took the intermediate features. After that, once we took the in intermediate features, we applied the attention mechanism. So here nothing but we, we applied a ReLU. So it's only allowing the positive feature maps only uh, uh, remaining everything uh, becomes zero. So there is some attention we, we, we applied, we, we focused on particular area. So that's why we said it's a attention mechanism. After that we, we reshape with the intermediate features then apply with the intermediate features. So here what happened, uh, we have a original and we have a uh, this one, uh, ReLU outcome that means the activated outcomes. When we multiply these two, uh, we may get a good focused features or uh, more focused features. That's what happened here. Finally, again, I applied one more uh, uh, fully connected layer 64. Final is the 10. So I returned the model. So uh, combine the model here. Then the model has been trained here. Then plot function and the testing and uh, predicting the probability for plotting the ROC curve. Uh, then here we plotted the ROC curve. So now the program has been uh running has been completed let's see so how much is the accuracy so, you know the accuracy is coming 99.97 oh it's really really very good i never expect this one so the training accuracy 99.71 but the validation accuracy 99.07 let me go for the testing accuracy so you know you can see the testing accuracy 99.07 it's a awesome. I never expect this one. Anyway, then we'll go move for the RO seeker. Everything is one. So hundred percentage EAUCs. We are coming for all the ten classes from zero to nine. As we have used the MNIST data set. So it's a really uh, good program. Uh, if you apply the attention, it's giving more. Uh, it's a it's giving a better result compared to the previous models. So yeah, this is the simple attention for the MNIST data set. If you want means you can uh, feed your data for your custom applications or custom classifications. Just you can read your files and uh, images and you can uh, feed your labels also. So uh, this is what how the attention mechanism is working on classification and how the results are improving. Uh, I think, yeah, once again, I'm dragging the program so that you can type over there. And uh, I hope you understood. Uh, if uh, any doubt means, you can ask me if you want to feed uh, your, uh, your data or your classification task means also you can contact me. I can help you. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, this is the first video for 2024. Happy New Year for everyone.
yeah let's move on in the next video i will i'm going to teach you the transformer models that's a trending one i will teach you how to use it for the classification purpose okay anyway bye bye guys